hey guys so i am back with a new video i know it's a little bit different than what i normally have put up even though it's been such a long time and i think i say this with every video i do them so far apart but anyways um so i decided to do this video because i got a cricut explorer 2 and i just love this machine because since i like to make diy things i wish i just would have known about this machine a little bit sooner but um, I just love it. So this video is based on a template that I created for earrings. There's two different ones and um, it's just what I learned um, doing on my own. It's called the slice method. Uh, feel free to just like um, comment below if you guys find a quicker method or something different. Let me know below. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start with a new page. We're going to go to shapes, pick circle, and then what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this circle. Um, what you do now is you would just change the circle size here. Um, I noticed that it was like in the back, so I just picked the other circle which is in the front, put it in the front. I changed the size a little bit. This part, you guys can just work with it, eyeball it, and see what looks good for you. Um, you don't want to make it too thin and you don't want to make it too thick. So just something that um, looks portional. Um, so yeah, you move it up a little bit and then you, know, you just keep clicking away and just making sure that it's where you want it to be. So now you're going to go to the bottom right hand corner and click slice. Once you do that, you'll see that you can just move these um, extra pieces over and you can delete it. So now the next step is, you know, I just zoom in a little bit. I go back to shape. I click on circle and this is the part where you're going to do um, the hole for where the earring is going to go in. So right here I kind of played a little bit. Um, I wanted to make sure that it was right in the middle. You don't want to do it too big where it's close to the edges because then the earring can rip easily once you put the earpiece in. So at this point you can just pause the video and you get to see exactly what number that I put it on. Uh, you highlight everything, you go back down and you click slice again. You can go ahead and delete that extra piece, those two pieces. You go ahead to the top part where there is a lock and you're going to change the size there. So you're going to unlock it and the width you're going to put 2 and height also 2. So it's about 2 inches. Um, for this earring template. So you change that to two. And there you go. So what you're going to do now is you're going to duplicate. So you're going to left click and you're going to duplicate this earring. So you're going to have two of these. And once you do that, you can highlight both and go back down to the right hand corner and click attach. So like that you can just easily move them together. We're going to do the second earring and you're going to go back to shape and click on triangle. I'm just trying to move over these templates so I can have enough space to work on the second pair of earrings. So you're going to just move it over with that little icon that rotates. So you're going to rotate it. What I do now is I just make sure I line it up with the grid lines just to make sure that it's straight. So I go ahead and I'm going to du duplicate it. All 
Alright, so what I'm doing now, I'm just um, playing around with it and just seeing where I would want it to be and how I like it. So once I have it the way I like it, I go ahead and I click the whole image again and I go down and I click slice. So you don't need these pieces here so you can go ahead and remove them. Then you go back to this image, click on it and you're going to duplicate it. Once you duplicate it, you can play around with it to where you, how you want to pretty much design the earring. So once you have your desired look, you can go ahead and select all, go up to where it says align, and you're going to click align right, which is going to make your image centered and aligned. Okay, so we have that. I'm still trying to like move this over, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to shapes. And we're going to select circle because we're going to do the same thing we did with the other earrings. We're going to create the hole for the earpiece. So I'm just sizing it down. So what I'm going to do is I select the whole image and I go back down. And this time I'm clicking weld which is just making the image one whole piece. Just make sure that you weld your image because when it comes to actually cutting um, this file, it will cut it in one whole piece. And that's what you want. You don't want it to cut separately because it's just not gonna come out right. So make sure you weld your image. So once you have the whole part right in the middle, um, you're going to select your entire image and you are going to slice it again. Once you slice, you move over your image and just delete the other pieces which you will not need. So at this point, you're going to go up to the where the lock is and you're going to change the size of your earring. So this one is going to be smaller, so the width is going to be 1.5 and the height is going to be 1.8 so it's smaller than the circle earrings um and i was going for that look i didn't want it too big now we're going to select the image and we're going to duplicate it i'm going to put it side by side and then we're going to select both images and we're going to attach at the bottom bottom right hand side so now your images are together. So because we are, when it's time to cut, it's important to cut four of these. So we're going to duplicate this here, the circle ones. And we're going to also duplicate the triangle earrings. The reason I do this is because the material that I'm using is the leather material from Cricut. So once you actually cut the earrings, you're going to glue them together. So I'm just going to save my project and then show you guys how it printed. I don't know about you guys, but I love when I hear my cricket working. I just love it.
and voila guys this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and comment let me know what you guys think